It starts with a stirring. Nehemiah chapter 1 verses 1 to 4. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah, it came to pass in the month of Chislev, in the twentieth year, as I was in Susham, the citadel, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came with me from Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews who had escaped, who had survived the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said to me, The survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down, and its gates are burned with fire. So it was when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. This week, I'd like us to spend some time just considering Nehemiah and journeying through uh, the chapters of the book of Nehemiah, just drawing insights and lessons uh, from his life and from the way God worked in Nehemiah's life. Uh, very often people use Nehemiah as an example of an outstanding leader and surely there are some great leadership lessons that we could learn from Nehemiah. But in addition to those leadership lessons, I, I, I believe there are just practical insights that you and I can take uh, when we are walking with God and we are journeying with God to fulfill uh, various assignments that He's given to us. Some of these could be small things that God wants us to accomplish and do for the sake of His kingdom. Uh, some of these things that God calls us to do could be monumental, could be very significant, could be uh, things that have a huge impact for the sake of His kingdom. And whether these are, these are small or whether these are big things, that God is calling you to do or calling me to do, uh, these lessons from Nehemiah's life will be of a great encouragement to us. The first thing I want us to consider is at the very beginning of Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 1, we see the stirring that comes into Nehemiah's heart concerning the walls of the city of Jerusalem. Um, this is uh, 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 in the 20th reign of the Persian king and Nehemiah is serving there uh, in Babylon, in Sushan, and uh, he receives news about the condition of the walls of the city of Jerusalem. I'm sure there, are, there would have been many Jewish people uh, who had been dispersed around Babylon uh, who knew about the condition of Jerusalem, who knew about the condition of the broken walls of the city. Uh, and they may have been concerned, but perhaps not stirred the way Nehemiah was. But the Bible tells us here in the passage we read that when Nehemiah heard about this, he was so stirred in his heart. And when we look at the months, uh, the Jewish months given in Nehemiah chapter 1 and then in chapter 2 and verse 1, uh, we can understand that this was a period of four months where Nehemiah was praying and seeking God just concerning about concerning this one matter, God, the broken walls of the city, I need to do something about it. And you know, Nehemiah's life's mission began with this stirring in his heart, with this overwhelming concern about the walls of the city of Jerusalem. I want to ask you, what stirs your heart? What is it that, uh, that really impacts your affects you? deep inside that you feel you need to do on the earth. Whether it's for the church, whether it's for the world, it's a problem to solve. It doesn't matter in which sphere of human activity. If there's something that stirs you deep within, pay attention to it, pray about it, continue in prayer about it. Very often, God's assignment for our lives begins with this compelling stirring inside of us. Don't ignore that. Let's pray together. Father, we just ask you that you will help us recognize those things that really affect us, the things that stir up inside of us, things that compel us, things that we want to address, change, and areas that we want to make a difference in. And God, we pray, will help us pray about it, seek your face concerning it, and journey with you into seeing things happen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.